Empathy is your superpower. A book about understanding the feelings of others. Written by Corey Busolari. Illustrated by Zach Jaskowiak. We are all born with superpowers. Emma and Emmanuel's superpower is called empathy. Empathy is an awesome superpower. With a little bit of curiosity, imagination, and kindness, we can all have empathy too. Have you ever seen a friend feel so sad about something that you felt sad too? then you've already started building your empathy superpower. Empathy means understanding and caring about someone else's feelings and wanting to lend a helping hand. Ask yourself two questions. How would I feel if that happened to me? What would make me feel better? Empathy is one of your most important superpowers. When you use it, you show kindness to others. You help them feel better because they know someone understands and cares about them. How do you know when someone is being a good friend? Can you remember when you were being a good friend? How do you think your behavior made your friend feel? Emma first learned about empathy one day when she was not feeling well. She was sad, and her mom came to comfort her. Even though her mom wasn't sick, she could imagine how Emma felt. She wanted to take care of her and help her feel better. Can you remember a time when you were feeling sad or sick and someone showed you they cared about you? What do you do to show someone that you care about them? We all have our own feelings. Sometimes you may feel happy or excited. Other times you could feel sad, scared, or angry. Sometimes you might want to tell other people how you feel. When you have an empathy superpower, other people might want to tell you how they feel too, because they know you will be kind. How can you tell how someone else is feeling? What does your face look like when you have different feelings? Look in the mirror to find out. Emma and Emmanuel know that being human is beautiful. We all have feelings. And we are all born with the ability to show others we understand and care about them. They practice using their empathy superpower every day, just like you can. Let's see how. Emmanuel and his brother Joshua were having fun riding their bikes. Suddenly, Joshua fell down. His knee was scraped and he started crying. Emmanuel saw that Joshua was hurt. He ran over to Joshua, asked how he could help, and told him that it was going to be okay. How did Emmanuel practice his empathy superpower? What are some things you could have said to Joshua if you were with him? Emma saw a group of girls making fun of her friend Ming's shoes. Emma could imagine how sad Ming felt. Emma wanted Ming to feel better. She said to her, Let's each wear one of each other's shoes for the rest of the day. How did Emma practice her empathy superpower? Have you ever seen someone being bullied? How did that make you feel? Emmanuel's class went on a trip to the zoo. Emmanuel noticed that Darren, who had broken his ankle, was struggling to keep up. Emmanuel slowed down to walk with Darren. He said, let's take our time and look at all the animals. How did Emmanuel use his empathy superpower? How would you feel if you were Darren? Aaliyah is a new girl in school who doesn't speak English very well. Aaliyah sat by herself every day during recess. 
Emma thought Aaliyah might feel lonely. She asked, Do you want to play hopscotch with me? How did Emma use her empathy superpower? Did you ever help someone who was new to your school or neighborhood? What did you do? Emmanuel brought his favorite meal to school for lunch. He saw that Luke had only a bag of chips. Emmanuel imagined that he would still be hungry if that was all he had to eat. He said to Luke, I'm not that hungry. Will you share this with me? How did Emmanuel use his empathy superpower? Have you ever shared something? How did that make you feel? Emma was at the amusement park with her family. She loved to go on all the rides, even the scary ones. Emma's sister Layla started crying. She wanted to go on the big kid rides, but she was too young. Emma said to Layla, Don't worry, we can go on the smaller rides together. Sometimes those are the best ones. How did Emma use her empathy superpower? Have you ever been left out because you were too young or too small? How did that make you feel? It was a beautiful day and Emmanuel could hear kids playing outside. Why don't you go with them and have fun? His grandpa asked. Emmanuel knew his grandpa was not feeling well. He said, I would rather stay here with you, grandpa. I want to hear more stories about when you were my age. How did Emmanuel use his empathy superpower? What are some ways that you show your friends and family that you care about them? Emmanuel is in Zara's reading group at school. Zara told Emmanuel that she doesn't like to read out loud because she makes mistakes. Emmanuel said, If you want, you can practice your reading with me. We can make mistakes together. How did Emmanuel use his empathy superpower? What are some things you would like someone to say to you when you make a mistake? Emma and her brother Rudy were so excited. They were going to the animal shelter to adopt a dog. After meeting all the dogs, Emma said she wanted to adopt the big dog with the scruffy hair. Rudy said, no way, he's the ugliest dog. Emma asked Rudy to imagine what the dog might be feeling. She said, he is sweet and has been at the shelter the longest. I can tell that he's sad and needs a good home. How did Emma use her empathy superpower? Why did Emma want this specific dog? Emma and Emmanuel realized that empathy can be contagious. Emmanuel saw Zara helping someone with math. Emma spotted Rudy, including someone in a game. Ming was giving a box of tissues to someone who was crying. If you show others that you understand and care about how they feel, they do the same for someone else. You set a good example for everyone when you use your empathy superpower. What does it mean to say that empathy is contagious? How do you think you can use your empathy superpower? Hope you liked our video. Please subscribe.